Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to walk you through Chat2Geo. Uh, yes, it's finally hosted online and you can try it. Uh, it's still in alpha, so there are a couple of things that you should keep in mind. First, uh, it's in alpha, so it may have bugs, issues, crashes, but uh, I will show you how you can let us know uh, if you face any of those issues and then uh, we'll fix them. Um, another thing is that it's, um, it's hosted on limited resources, um, so it might run slow um, and uh, some of the things may not work 100%, uh, but um, we, we are working on scaling this uh, so you can have a better experience. But this may happen, things may get uh, slow. Um, and another thing is that um, there are some limitations, um, as you can see in here, and uh, in the usage stat, uh, you can monitor your uh, usage. Uh, so there are different things uh, that are limited in this version. And you can try it for seven days. And um, there's also a way um, that you can request for more um, uh, to increase your uh, limits. Um, but uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is the main interface of the app, as you have seen. Um, and uh, we have the session history. Uh, so in this trial version, uh, we don't save any of your uh, chats, messages. So this means that you don't have access to the session history. Uh, we have the uh, knowledge base where you can upload your uh, documents, um, textual information. Um, right now, uh, it's only PDF uh, documents that are supported. And then um, you can just use the AI to integrate uh, those documents with the spatial or geospatial analysis that you do. Uh, we have the integrations. Uh, for now, we have the Esri feature server um, integration that you can use if you have uh, you know, layers, uh, vector layers on Esri and import them into the app. Um, I showed you the uh, usage stats where you can monitor um, your uh, usage uh, in the app. Um, there is also the feedback button, uh, which is very, very important for us, to be honest, uh, where you can, um, this is the portal that connects you uh, with us. Um, if you face any issue, any feedback, or sorry, any, uh, any bugs, please let us know. Uh, if you have any suggestions, um, or if you have any questions, and then we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. Um, you can see your profile settings and uh, some of the things here. You can also change the theme oops, uh, in here. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. So let's just start with, uh, the, uh, with the main thing, which is the um, actually session that you can open. So uh, we call them a session, but it's nothing uh, different from uh, just a chat that you can do and everything uh, every geospatial analysis starts with selecting an area. Uh, there are three different ways that you can select an area. The simplest of all is uh, selected manually, uh, going to your own location and uh, select your area. Uh, let me show you how you can do that. So I just, uh, let me, um, maybe, yeah, let's do this. So I went to uh, select ROI on map, then this window, uh, or sidebar uh, open, and then I selected the, um, let me go back, and I selected uh, or pressed the, uh, this uh, button, select a location on the map, um, and now I zoom in, I make sure that this is selected, and then I zoom in, zoom in, and then I uh, start uh, dragging a, uh, or drawing a polygon on the, on the, on the map. So, I select a polygon and then uh, when I'm happy uh, and I want to finish this polygon, the only thing that I need to do is to double click on the last point, okay? And then it's selected. So you also see the size of your uh, drawing. Uh, keep in mind that it should be below the minimum that or the maximum that you have in here. Um, so perhaps I can make a bigger one uh, and if you want to repeat that you just need to repeat the same process and then uh, it will be replaced 
okay and then I'm happy so I select a name for it a test area and it's now added to the chat and now I can ask the AI to do analysis geospatial analysis uh, within that uh, polygon that I just drew uh, so I say that uh, need uh, the land cover map for uh, the summer of 2022 in uh, so when I want to tell it which area I want it to generate an analysis for me I just need to press the slash button and then I see the list of polygons and then I just enter okay so that's how it work works after doing that we're good we can send it and then it will process the information and you can see also the uh, different steps that it takes to run an analysis or generate a result uh, for us and then um, everything else and then the map the map is let me make it bigger um, the legend the map is queryable so you can query so you see two different ways of querying the map you can query it uh, just uh, by selecting a point or selecting a polygon that gives you the uh, query for that area and you can also see um, the information on that um, there is also the table so where you can see uh, the same uh, you know points or polygons that you uh, drew information about them and different things so that's how it works okay so this uh, was uh, one of the things there are some other analysis that you can do land uh, change detection um, hit urban or urban hit island analysis um, so these are the three main ones we are um, rolling out more analysis like uh, importing or um, displaying or visualizing uh, Google Earth Engine uh, data sets uh, all of them um, so it will be released uh, sometime soon okay so another thing that you can do is that uh, you can also ask the AI uh, about your documents okay so let me go back and let me go to knowledge base uh, so in the knowledge base as I said uh, we can just add uh, some documents and then the AI can access them okay so let me uh, bring up uh, one of the documents um, so you have a minimum or a, a maximum sorry maximum of 10 uh, megabytes uh, for each document so um, I have a document here so it's under uh, that limit I upload it I don't know how many pages is that uh, if it's over 100 pages I will get an error um, but hopefully it's not so it will take a moment to be uploaded and you see that it's 35 pages and uh, I'm good to go so I go to the chat and then now I just ask it to um, give me some answers based on my uh, documents so I say that uh, based oops based on my documents uh, I want to I want to know um, more about uh, our uh, climate change master uh, plan so it's the more specific you are the better answers you will get um, but I just ask it as an example how it works so you you can see that it provides information from uh, the document that we wanted it uh, you, you don't need to specify any document any specific document but if, if you don't want to but that's uh, just as an example and you can see the sources where it extracted the information you can open them you can see the exact pages uh, in some browsers it may not navigate you to this uh, exact page um, in um, some of them that we tested it worked but uh, just keep that in mind and uh, yeah so that's how it works as well um, another thing that you can do is report generation so before that let's um, let me uh, just drag and drop an area so another way that you can uh, actually select an area is to drag and drop a uh, polygon so I drag it and drop it and then it will be added uh, into my uh, into my app so 
I can also see the map in here and the area so I select and then this is the area okay so let's do an analysis for this area for example need the uh, need a oops, need a heat anal analysis um, in uh, this area since uh, 2018 okay something like that um, so what happens is that the AI goes through this request and then it tries to see what um, tools it should run and then it will give us the results as you can see in here so some metrics are calculated these may metrics may not be actually relevant for your own area uh, but um, because these are calculated uh, for some specific based on some specific areas um, but uh, this is just as an example okay and you see uh, something like that and then uh, the same thing so that's how it works um, but now you want a report based on these findings and other things so uh, let's see how that works so we can say uh, draft me a report uh, based on uh, the findings in this uh, chat okay and I just hit the inner so what happens is that it goes through all the information all the analysis that we have run in this uh, chat and then it tries to compile a comprehensive report based on uh, the information provided for it so as an example, we have asked it uh, for some information from our own documents uh, or uh, this analysis in here. So it works on them and then um, it puts them together and starts drafting a report for us. So it may take uh, maybe one, two or, or even two minutes based on how, how many uh, analysis you have run and then uh, it provides the report for us so this is the report that it gives us uh, let me maximize it um, oops. so you see that it provides the report um, and the good thing is that this report is editable so you can edit it uh, you can just remove things and uh, that's a rich editor that is available so it's quite you see it's quite uh, comprehensive but uh, you can add more things to it if you want to so that was uh, pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, but I may update this video, add more information, some of the things. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, let us know. And then um, if you have even a request regarding adding a new feature analysis that you want to see in this app, um, just let us know and then we'll consider that. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy working with the app and have a great day. Bye-bye.